All right, so let's go and look at the bags when you're on a trek. So we don't, you know, this is we're out in the woods. I always like to bring coconut water because it's a uh, electric, what are they called? Electrolyte. Electrolyte. And it doesn't have sugar in it, so it doesn't bump your insulin, but it will definitely hydrate you more than water, actually. It's uh, in the 30s today, so I brought my super warm gloves, but I always end up um, holding my hand like that. Mittens are, I don't know, sometimes if you can get a waterproof mitten, that would probably be better. This is my, uh, it's kind of waterproof. This is from, this is when our hurricane, I mean the, all the fires, the fires in California, they sent, gave everybody a bag. It's really nice. So in here I have my clippers because we just happen to have uh, briar, briar stickers around here. That's kind of heavy. I like to travel with my, this is a concoction that I make. And this is uh, walnuts, fig, uh, and apple chips, like dried apple. I put some mushroom powder on here, the reishi and lion's mane and all of that. And this is a really good mix. So it's got a lot of energy and then the nuts have the fat. I also like to do a lot of wood stuff um, just with some B12. Just a little hit of energy because if some parts really hard or whatever and you feel tired you can get a little hit of energy so for my snack I did uh, tuna fish with salt and pepper and olive oil you don't want to put mayonnaise there because it could spoil or whatever some people have dairy allergies so this is a very easy snack and it's a smart snack why is it a smart snack uh, the protein gives you energy oh okay so it's pure protein and mm -hmm. it's easy and then these are gluten-free crackers. You don't if you if you don't need utensils, it's better if you can just eat. You know. Use the cracker as a utensil. Yeah. And then I bought brought some um, chaya bread with multi seed. I always have bars that I don't plan to eat because you always want just in case food. Just in case. And then I brought apples. They're kind of heavy but they're moist, uh, they put moisture in the system, and they're fiber, and they're super easy to travel. Okay, that's that bag. I also have marker here, you know, because you never know when you need one of these. Okay, this bag I use all the time. So this is like my lunch bag. Um, this bag here is my camel bag. I've had this for years. I swear to God, if people stay hydrated, they won't get into trouble. Our brain uh, loses, I don't know, traction, it loses cognitive, like when we're super stressed out and we're dehydrated, things are going to go from bad to worse. So hydration is the most important thing you could ever do for yourself. I have on here a little flashlight and a compass. Smart. This is old school, but it totally works. And then a whistle because you should never travel in, by yourself. So if you should get separated, you want somebody to be able to find you because yelling could wear you out. And then here I have an extra hairband. You can always use extra hairband. And these things, you'd be surprised how many times I've used them for di different things. And back here I have a little baby pocket. My hands are getting cold. Mine too. And then here, uh, sometimes I bring my contacts, so I want an extra contact case. This here is what I really wanted to show you. This is Dawn Dish Wash Soap. And not only can it keep you clean, if you have a wound, you want to put this in there, and it will kill whatever kind of germs. And then it gets real sticky, and it actually um, makes a little coating as well. Got a little knife thing here. Lip balm for sure. And uh, sunscreen because you never know. And that's my case. So let's go to Rita. Rita is an outdoors woman and she lives by this stuff. So let's see what she's got in there. Okay, Rita. 